So basically our team is spread out pretty much around the entire world. We have some people in Japan, some people in Germany, some people in Hawaii, and the rest of us in the States. Um, so we can't really train together as a team up until two weeks, the two week training camp right before Wuhan. It's really a test. Each person has to be training on their own, doing what they can, playing as high level of soccer as they can individually, so that when we come together as a team, everybody's fit and everybody's ready to play. So a normal workout would be, um, we start in the gym where I'll be working out for about an hour and then we'll come out here where some of us who are more motivated will do some cardio. Um, so that way during the practice we're more fatigued so we can simulate more of a game-like scenario um, where you're going to be tired in the game. So we'll about work out and then we'll do cardio for about 30 minutes and then we'll do about an hour and a half practice. Right now I'm representing my country. Um, this is the only opportunity I probably have in my life to represent my country playing soccer. So I know that I have to show up ready to play fit or I probably won't be able to step on the field. The traits that I learned from soccer I try to apply in my Air Force life every day. I have to constantly be working at the three different areas of my personal responsibility. And I hope that as a supervisor in the Knowledge Management Center, that I hope that the hard work kind of trickles down to the airmen and they see that um, if they work hard, they can elevate themselves in the squadron and elevate themselves to be a better overall airman.